Sugar painting is a traditional folk handicraft. As the name implies, it is a painting made of sugar, which can be enjoyed or eaten. Sugar painting is an authentic folk painting, a distinctive street art, and a craft food favored by people. Whether it is at a temple fair or a scenic sport in the park, sugar painting stores can be seen everywhere. The history of it is very long, and it can be inferred from existing literature that is originated from the Han and the Tang dynasties. The relevant literature of the Song dynasty recorded words such as molasses and lactose after the development of the Song dynasty. It flourished more. At the same time, due to the rich market life of the Song dynasty, the production techniques of sugar paintings continued to improve. Until the Ming and Qing dynasties, the development became more mature. Let's turn to the process of sugar painting. Before boiling the sugar, prepare a marble snack and brush it with oil. Brush the oil thinly to prevent the sugar from sticking to the snap. Put a copper pot on the heat and some water and sugar. After the sugar is ended, stir it gently to prevent it from sticking. The temperature should be raised gradually so that the sugar can dissolve in water. As we can see, the sugar is starting to bubble. While it is still hot, pour it over the marble snap. When the sugar is poured on the marble snap, it cools and solidifies. When the sugar is completely set, chop the sugar slices and put them on the plate. The sugar produced in this way has high transparency. It's very crisp does not flow and can be used as material for drawing sugar paintings. The subjects of sugar painting are usually novel and opera characters, auspicious flowers, birds, animals, words, and so on. The shapes of characters and animals are the most interesting. If the image is on the side, it is shaped by lines. If the image is positive, the head is stacked with sugar to create a relief shape. Due to the fluidity of sugar, even if the same image, there will be no similar shape. Folk artists have mastered the characteristics of sugar in long-term practice, and according to the characteristics of operation, they apply more full and symmetrical lines in the shape, thus forming a unique style. The most common sugar painting is flat sugar painting. In addition to flat paintings, skilled artists will also spice flat parts on the marble slab to create three-dimensional paintings of different styles. There is also a folk story about sugar painting. In the Tang Dynasty, Chen Ziang, a Sichuan point, liked to eat yellow sugar, but unlike others, he liked to melt sugar and then paint it on a smooth table by sugar, and then eat it while enjoying it. Later, he went to Chang'an to be a small official. In his spare time, he made sugar for himself, which is noticed by the little prince, asking Chen Ziang to make a few for him. After the little prince finished the sugar in the palace, he still quarreled, which shocked the emperor. So the emperor asked Chen Ziang to perform in the palace. And then Chen Ziang worked his way up. Later, after 
Chen Zeng returned to his hometown, he took a few apprentices, and the sugar painting was developed. In 1986, Chen Du established the Folk Sugar Painting Art Association. The charm of it has been constantly reflected in the rapid development, and was included in the second batch of National Intangible Cultural Heritage Protection Lists. It has been welcomed by more people at home and abroad. So, as teenagers in the new age, it's our responsibility to ponder how to make the sugar painting art go further and become better or more sterling. To sum up, the people's praise for sugar painting mainly focused on exquisite skills, delicate and subtle, symbolic meaning, and artistic creativity. Sugar painting is regarded as a beautiful and unique art form, and is highly admired.